Hi everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and it is Saturday afternoon and I am coming on uh, to share some Christmas gifts that I got over the past week and a half and I feel bad that I haven't shared them before now. I shared everything on Instagram and I think some of it I posted to Facebook, I'm not sure. Um, but I just, I have been struggling a little bit health-wise, so um, <laughs> today's the first day that I have had enough energy to do extra stuff um, between school starting back up and everything and uh, both of my parents being ill and anyway, blah, 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 everybody's got stuff. So <laughs> anyway, I, I wanted to come and share these beautiful gifts that I received. Um, from such sweet friends with you all and um, this first one was from Gloria who's Crafty Cake 7 on YouTube and uh, she sent me this beautiful card I love this image this is one of the images um, that I have on on a wish list <laughs> and I was just so touched Gloria that this is the image that you picked to send to me so Gloria sent me this beautiful card it says happy holidays XOXO Gloria crafty cake 7 and um, I just fell in love with it I had it sitting up in my living room the past few days Gloria so I could look at it every time I was um, you know passing by to and from the kitchen or whatever so I'm gonna put that right there and you guys might notice that my desk looks a little bit different. Um, I, as I get older, you guys, I'm having a problem with just some of the clutter and, I don't know, visually. So I've moved some stuff around to make my desk more light and airy, I guess is the word. Um, so that's why it looks a little bit different. Anyway, I wanted to show you, she had it all wrapped with this cute doily and this pretty, pretty blue paper with the snowflakes. And look at what Gloria made me. And I know she sent these as gifts to other people too, so you may have seen some of them, but look at how sweet this is. And if you guys know, um, I got some beautiful gingerbread ornaments this year and started a gingerbread tree. And several different people have gifted me uh, gingerbread ornaments over the years and um, I've just been very touched and I, I put all of them on the tree this year and I sent pictures to a few of you that sent ornaments to me so when I opened this Gloria I was so touched and so excited look at how cute this is you guys it's got little pink cheeks and she made this really cute bow with a little um, jewel in the center and then it's it says cozy and warm from the Lily of the Valley tags and then look at how cute she sewed little gingham buttons and she used gingham fabric which you know I love my gingham and it sewed all the way around the edges with the blanket stitch and my son and I both fell in love with this so I I immediately went and stuck it um, on the branches of my gingerbread tree towards the bottom of the tree where the bigger ornaments are and it looks so cute there Gloria but I wanted to bring it down and share it with you today um, Sorry, Timmy just came to ask me if he could have some Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think he's getting hungry. It might be time for me to go feed him again. <laughs> so, sorry about that. But anyway, look at the little Jingle Bell Jingles. So, it's just adorable, Gloria. I love it. I am so very touched that you thought of me and um, sent such a special handmade gift. So, thank you so much. And... Um, I might, I might just leave this down in my craft room for the year. Rather, I was gonna, I, I've got to pack up my Christmas stuff this week, and I, I hate to pack it away because it's so cute. So I might leave it out. Anyway, um, uh, so then, so that was from Gloria, and then um, I received gifts. Timmy and I received um, also gifts from um, from the wonderful Vicky Tryheart sixty seven. And look at this gorgeous card that she sent me. And using the the gingerbread house that um, we both showed in our videos this year. Um, so she did some really, I actually liked her cards better than mine. <laughs> I made tags and a card with mine, but she did one too where she made the gingerbread house brown, the, the house part brown, and she had it all glittered and everything. And it's cute both ways, but I really like what she did. So Vicki, I just, I love that you ran with that and uh, made such beautiful cards. And I just love, I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at all the glitter 
and the sparkle she added to this. And then she's got a little bit of hollies up in the top with um, some red sequins for the berries. And it's just so cute. And look at the inside. She did one of the little heart um, ornaments. It says twinkle and sparkle. And then it says wishing you a magical holiday season. And she says love and happiness always, Vicki. And it says dearest Jill and Timmy, Merry Christmas up at the top. So, and then look at the cute little ginger. Isn't that sweet? So just a beautiful, beautiful card. And uh, from a beautiful lady. Gloria and Vicki are both such sweet people. And I'm so touched to receive gifts from them. She had it in this pretty vellum envelope. And then I'm going to show you what she sent. She sent this little box with another little card. And it says, For Jill's Heart. And when you open it, it says, Elf You. <laughs> and it says, You inspire me. Jill, thank you for sharing your heart. Curating Christmas 2016. From my heart to your heart. Love, Vicki. And it's just such a cute little card. Look at how she has the snow embossed in here. And it has the little um, house scene. It's just adorable. And look at the, the um, candy cane paper. And then it says on the back, Teeny Tiny Cards by Try Heart Designs, Vicki. I love that. I want to get a... Uh, I should get a little tag, uh, oh, I can't talk, a stamp like that for when I do my tiny cards because I love making small cards. I make a lot of them for my mom to include when she's giving, helping someone up at church or, you know, sending a meal or something like that. It's nice to just include just a little card. So that's adorable, Vicki. And look at what she sent you guys in this cute little box. It says, just for you, add love. And when you open it up, look at what's inside. This beautiful ornament. And if you watched her channel, then you saw that she had made these. And it's made with quilted fabric and jingle bells and little charms. And it's just precious. I hope you can see it okay. There's a little, um, a little stocking charm, some three little rusty jingle bells, and then a little um, pine cone charm, and then two hearts and a little pair of mittens. And I've had so m I, I put this on Instagram too, and so many people have been complimenting it, Vicki. So I don't know if you're on, were you on Instagram, Vicki? I can't remember now. Oh my gosh, you guys, my memory. <laughs> anyway, this has been hanging on my tree upstairs, but I took it off and put it back in the box so I could show everybody today because um, I just love it. <laughs> it's so pretty, Vicki. So thank you so much for sharing that with me. And um, I just am so touched. And then, as if that were not enough, um, she sent these really sweet little bars of chocolate. It's called House of Dorchester Fine Chocolate. So, really cute. And then, on top of that, she sent Swiss Miss um, Marshmallow Cocoa Mix. And in this beautiful box with the snowman on it, you guys are going to crack up because I just about... <laughs> I'm going to show you. She sent this. All mommy needs is a silent night. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Anyone who's a single parent <laughs> definitely needs a silent night. Because <laughs> when you're the only adult, you know, you don't ever get a day off, even when you're sick. And I think that's part of the reason why it takes me time to get well sometimes, because I don't have help and uh, I really can't be down. Not when you have someone you need to feed three times a day, take to and from school, you have work to do, blah, blah, blah. So um, I just, I saw this, Vicki, and to be honest, I just got the biggest grin and I choked up. <laughs> so I just love that. And then she sent this mug. Let me see if I can get it. I should have opened them. She sent this one to Timmy that says, from Santa. So isn't that cute? So guess what Timmy and I are going to do tonight? We're going to have hot cocoa with this. So, and then she also sent this sweet little um, tissues with the little reindeer on them. Those are just adorable. Look at there's even a reindeer on the back side. So, so cute. And this box is just precious. And then there's, look at these ones with the snowman. And what's really fun, I, I looked at these and wanted to buy some for my purse and I didn't do it. So now I have two sets. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that, Vicki. That's a really sweet gift for me. Um, to have in my purse. There's always someone needing their nose wiped in my life. So um, anyway, so that was from Vicki. 
And let me set that aside really quick. And uh, thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Gloria. Really, really sweet, sweet gifts from everybody. And I'm beyond touched. Um, so let me take this out again really quick. So those are my little handmade gifts. And then um, on top of that, I then got this beautiful card and gift package. Oops, let me see if I can slip the card out here. Look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. And this is from Mimi. And Mimi is so scrappy, 79, and she wrote me a beautiful note. But look at that card. It just glistens. So it's just so sparkly and beautiful, Mimi. I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to have these three cards sitting on display on my craft table this week. Or maybe longer. Because <laughs> I usually leave cards up until I get the next set of cards. But, oh, those are all so precious. And then Mimi sent me a whole bunch of goodies um, in this envelope. So let me show you what she sent me. She sent me this you know, I love angels, and she sent me this beautiful angel that says hope on it. I hope you can see it. There's a lot of glare, but it has the word hope there in the center, and it's really sparkly. So I just love how much it sparkles. It's so pretty. So she sent that, and then if you watched her channel, that you saw that she made these uh, shaker ornaments or tags, um, you could use it as a tag or an ornament. It's got a tie and a hook though. So I had it hanging on the tree upstairs and it says Noel. And I love, Timmy loved this. Mimi, <laughs> he was shaking it. He was like, this is cool, mom. You should make more of these. So really, really cute. So she sent that in this cute peppermint uh, bag. And then in this little be Mary bag, which is adorable. I don't know where you got these cute bags, but they're really sweet. She sent this gift tag that she had made, and I saw these on her channel too. Um, and it's a little two from gift tag that's a lot to cup. And it says, let it snow. And she's got jingle bells and then um, these layered snowflakes. It's so pretty, Mimi. This is the cutest tag. I just love it. And I love how you use the baby latte cup as the two from and tied that on. So really, really sweet. So I'm going to hang this on my little Christmas tree that has everybody's tags on it. The one that I showed in my curating Christmas video. Um, so that was from Mimi. And um, one other little thing that she sent, I had to find it there. Um, she made this ornament and it's a two-sided ornament. And I don't know how you did this. I think it's beads and... Um, Oh, I forget, braided trim. So I don't know exactly how she did it, and I'm not sure if she showed on her channel how she did it. Um, if she did, I don't think I got to see that part of the video or um, her video on it. But it's two-sided and it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. I love it. So I don't know if anyone else, if you guys have seen this or not, but it, it's really a neat idea. See how the beads are woven between the, um, the braided trim? And maybe they're threaded on. I'm not really sure, but it's really cool. So just really pretty. I love both sides. So Mimi, thank you for your sweet gifts. Vicki and Gloria, thank you for your gifts. Um, I am getting ready to do the drawings for Curating Christmas. I was hoping to have it done during the week this week, but too much ha craziness happened um, with people being sick. So... Um, and the start of school and blah 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 <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully I'll get it done before the end of this weekend but if not hopefully by Monday for sure um, so I appreciate everybody's patience and I'm looking forward to seeing who wins the drawings this year and um, mostly I just want to thank everybody for being so sweet and participating and uh, spreading the word about curating Christmas and uh, just sharing your hearts. Um, it's such a beautiful time of year and especially this year with all that's happened with the election and everything and just the state of the world, um, the people struggling in Syria, in Aleppo and uh, you know just so many so many of my friends are struggling with cancer and 
my dad and you know there's just a lot of heartache in the world and I think it's important that we share love with each other and share our hearts and just spread kindness and cheer so thank you all for doing that with me this year once again and I will be back to draw names as soon as I can God bless you all and I hope to see you very soon bye now